papers. Um, let's start with you, Chef. The yes. Times. The Times, not one of my favourite papers. No. Not that I read newspapers, but um, yeah. Um, the story that 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 grabbed my attention was um, it says here that the US dropped a thousand six hundred bombs on jihadists in the last month. Um, Is that all? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so this is obviously it's pretty bad. No wonder um, the war costs so much then, really. If you think the thing it. is that people, as it says in this article, people seem to forget that America is at war. Um, the U- UK are at war as well, but it's because there's no ground troops on the ground mm. that people aren't really talking about it. But obviously there's a war. Um, let's not forget that the, 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 the civilian lives that get damaged because of no ground troops being on the ground. You know, you've got somebody sitting a few miles away planning these things, and people yeah. people are getting killed. Um, you know, for inst- for instance, if they was trying to bomb this this house now, rather than them, you know, target here, the whole street would, would get bombed. Yeah. You know, so if you put that into context in these countries, um, there's a lot of, of civilian casualties. That mm. No, it doesn't get mentioned about, and and obviously, President Obama has sanctioned this, um, even though he came into power saying he was going to try and put an end to this. Mm. Um, so it's pretty sad, and and also you got to look at the cost of this, thousand six hundred bombs in a month. I, I know one bomb costs thousands, and mm. I mean like you know tens of hundreds thousands. Yeah. Between between nine and and, and plus thousand. Oh yeah, one. Up to you in the one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that I've seen the price tag on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it costs a lot of money. So you you add that up. For the 1,600 times, let's say, nine grand, yeah. and that's in a month, wow. you add that up over three years, yeah. who's making these bombs? Yes. Who's making these bombs? Ooh. You know, somebody is making Someone money. Somebody's benefiting this. from and this. And this is why, and it, yeah, yeah, and this is why, you know, war budgets, you know, billions are getting spent on this. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so people all say this hoo-ha, we don't want ground troops, people to get injured. Well, they're humans. Uh, it's humans you're bombing. Yeah. Wouldn't you prefer... A thousand humans who have signed up to say that they may possibly get killed to go into somewhere rather than innocent civilians getting killed. Do you know what I mean? It's not really fair because just because you're living in an area like Syria, you may have nothing to do with this and now your yard's been bombed because somebody lives next door to you. Do you know what I mean? That's that's, that's a so-called terrorist. Also on this thing against ISIS, I'm still not convinced that ISIS is, 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 is an enemy. I was watching Batman the other day. Was it Batman? Yeah. No, so it was Iron Man. Uh, I have to watch a lot. I got a three-year-old. I was watching Iron Man, <laughs> and on Iron Man, the, the newest Iron Man. What happens is they have a they have a bad guy, a terrorist that they fund, and uh, he's an actor from the UK. But they, they give him some money, they give him um, some girls, and then they say, right, we're gonna come and film you. And he, they, they they get the camera on him, and he pretends to be this terrorist. Do you know what I mean? And then um, Iron Man hunts him down anyway, and then Iron Man realizes, oh, this guy's an actor. And the guy who actually is funding all this 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 thing is like, yeah, actually, I just created this this bad guy mm. so that um, you know people would think he's is 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 a terrorist. And um, I'm I'm a believer that a lot of the things that are true they'll put in the film, so we won't believe them. So it, for me, it made me think like, hmm, I wonder if that actually is the thing that's going on with this ISIS because ISIS they've got weapons that you can't just make them in, in the, your backyard. You have to yeah. buy them from somewhere. Yeah. So surely if somebody's coming and buying a thousand tanks from me. I'm going to then let somebody know that, hold on a minute, there's a guy called ISIS just turned up and he's buying all these tanks. I'm not just going to sell them them and then say, oh, I don't know where this 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 this, this um, enemies come from. ISIS hasn't just turned up like this. Do you know what I mean? This, the, yeah, I feel it's, it's been created because we'll look at the money that it's costing. You know what I mean? That's my spirit telling me that. I don't have to look at no, I don't have to look at no information. I have to listen to myself. I'm, in, I'm very in tune to what's going on. Again, I've been in the army, so I know what goes on. Um, I believe there's a lot more than meets the eye. I, I, I think ISIS personally is fabricated, mm. and I think all this that's going on now is, is all, again, unfortunately, about money. With respect to the issue of the United States taking military action against ISIS or ISIL or IL, whatever they are calling this organization right now, my response to the people that have been asking me about this is that if you want to get to the root of the problem and remove this organization, the first thing they need to do is remove the funding and take care of the entities responsible for the creation of this group. And that would bring the uh, the forces here at home because clearly this is entirely a farce. This is a completely fabricated enemy. The funding is uh, completely from the 
United States and its allies. And uh, for people to think that uh, this enemy is uh, something that needs to be attacked in Syria or, or Iraq is, is, uh, is a farce, because obviously this is something that we created, that we control, and only now it has become convenient for us to attack this group as a legitimate enemy. And clearly when they say that they don't need permission to go into Syria and attack that country, one can only imagine how long it will be before they are dropping bombs on the, the home of uh, Bashar Assad. See, the, 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 you've raised a great point about the cost of these, um, of what's happening, 1,600 bombs at whatever, 10,000 pounds a month. That's cool. What you also look at is why are people getting radicalised? Because there is going to be elements of radicalisation. Mm. You're correct. If somebody wants to bomb this house, they can take the whole street out. Mm. So the people who are living next door, why wouldn't they become radical, radicalised? Mm -hmm. Their family's being killed. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's a coward's war, let's be honest about this. It's a coward's war where you sit in a control box miles and miles and miles away, you control a drone, the drone works on GPS, you drop a bomb. You're, you're not going to get involved with it. You're using that coward's war and you're using the classical damage to justify it, right? You can't justify just killing innocent people. If you really want to look for a threat, go in, ground troops. Isolate the people, do it. You know, don't just go around and randomly bomb. Pakistan has had thousands of bombs dropped on them from drones. And these never hit the news headlines. You might see on RT News, the Russian um, today. Mm. You, won't, you won't see much of it happening in the mainstream news. I, ITV, BBC, they don't dis they don't show it. Why? I don't think they're really concerned about the damage to people that's happening over there. You have a soldier who dies over there, who's from the UK or from the US, it's a big story. So what are you saying? The soldier's life is worth more than the innocent? Mm. And this is a problem. This is the double standards that the media companies who are controlled by the governments have. And it's a sad state of affairs. The more you keep doing that for what you're trying to achieve, the more you're going to radicalise other people. You're right about this ISIS. It's just all a fabrication. It's all a fabrication. These people cannot get thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds worth of equipment just like that. It's, there's only a few groups, particularly Israeli groups actually, that produce a lot of the weaponry. And uh, the US, so they're getting it from somewhere. Mm. You know, mm. What we need to figure out is what is the agenda behind that? Why are they doing this? Why are they making this? Boogeyman. Mm. What is the reason behind the boogeyman? Did you, sorry, go on. No, go ahead. The, America has got this, um, the, I think the world's largest private army called Blackwater, right? Started mm. by a, a fundamental Christian. Mm. And um, when they start to bomb, when, when the West bombs a region or whatever, they have a way of counting or not counting the, the casualties. So imagine they want to take you out, kind mm. of thing. Not for dinner. But to blow you up. Um, what they say is that um, anything that is within the vicinity of you shouldn't be. All of these. Yes, shouldn't be because you are a terrorist mm -hmm. on their list. You are wanted. So anybody who is associated with you is, an, is a target I see. as well. So they will. If you look in this room, there's seven people, eight people in this room. They'll only count one, oh. one death, which is yours. Because nobody else matters as far as they're concerned. Mm. You're the target. Wow. Uh, and, and you've got to remember as well, you see, with America, it, um, it's incredibly, uh, it's in debt to a, a level that no regions of the world, Africa's debt, all added together, is nothing in comparison to America's debt. Um, so the only way America can finance the debt and keep the, the nation going is by wars. Wars generates money. And the people, you have to remember, the people who are part of the, the, the American government that um, advocates spending more and more and more on wars are part of the companies that make these weapons. Yeah. Uh, but because the general public in America don't really question their leaders, they're able to get away with, what's the word now, murder? Mm. And, and so the difficulty you've got, right, is that people don't sit up and take notice and say, wait a minute, you're doing this on behalf of us. You have to stop. Um, you know, so, you know, America at war, you've got these um, refugees coming from Libya, trying to escape what's going on there. 
Remember, it's, we went over to their countries to give them democracy. Mm -hmm. And then when these people die in their boats trying to get here, remember, someone's going to pay £10,000 for the journey. So mm -hmm. it's not a cheap journey. None of us will pay ten grand to go anywhere in the world, first class or anything. Mm -hmm. So these people are spending a major amount of money to escape what they're trying to get from. And that's a story that's been across, I've heard on loads of um, news stories this week on radio and about should we be letting all, the, all these people into the UK? And there's been pros and cons of, or arguments that if we don't, the people are going to suffer. On the other side, why should we? I think the question that we should all be asking is, what did we do to make them have to flee in the first place? Mm. What is our involvement? You can remember, right, in Libya, Colonel Gaddafi was there for the longest time. Never troubled nobody. People said, yes, he did. The Lockerbie bombing. I go, okay, let's talk about the Lockerbie bombing, right? Where is Lockerbie? Scotland. Where's Libya? Clear over there. Mm. So mm -hmm. what had happened was, right, somebody had got a suitcase onto the flight and it blew up over Scotland. Now, the man that they said had done it was a Libyan, some kind of um, special forces man or secret intelligence man. Lock him up, got set free um, on compassionate ground because he had cancer. I understand all that. But the question you've got to ask yourself is this. How did he get that suitcase onto the plane in Scotland? Mm. That means somebody in Scotland did it. Yeah. Mm. Nobody else is prosecuted in Scotland. Mm. And it's understanding where the smoking gun goes. The Western form of democracy, remember, we've got the British Isles and there's, there's four different nations in the British Isles. Every single one of them has a different form of democracy. Which one do we want to choose? The Scottish one? Mm -hmm. The Welsh one? The, you know, English one? And remember, England as a nation doesn't really exist when you come out of this country. So, or the Irish one. So what I'm saying is, right, as long as we have policies that nullifies people, makes people collateral, cause them collateral damage, as opposed to a person, you're going to create a problem in the nations you're bombing and you're also going to create no nation, no person I know in terms of my circle of friends would allow their families to be killed and go, well, it's just the oh, part yeah. of war, isn't it? Yeah, and another quick point I have to make is this is the, the, the worst part is that they say they will not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> so it was fine to negotiate with the IRA, yeah. right? And they're part of governments now and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to negotiate with these guys. So what are you saying then? We're going to kill every single terrorist in the world, or potential terrorist, or friend of terrorist, and, and that's, that's endless killing. Mm. They haven't even started with Africa. Oh. They haven't even started mm. with that. Yeah. Yeah? That's, yeah. Another, yeah. that's another one. Mm. So, so you're going to kill every single person, mm. you know, rather you, than negotiate. Sorry. But these are the, these are the right. leaders. So what are leaders showing yeah. us? that we sh If we are having a fight, we should stop and say, come then, let's... Let's talk about this. Yeah, this is really a fight to the death. Yes. Is that what they're showing me? You see, because they've got weapons of mass destruction, they will always win the battle. Yeah. But what you've got to remember as well, let's talk about democracy. This is what they're trying to export. And America is the only land I can think of that if they call you a terrorist based on the evidence that they call evidence, they can incarcerate you indefinitely yeah. and take away your human rights. Mm. Now, the people that was, they are fighting against don't do this. No. So to me, right, I question our policies, our Western policies, when we go to their countries and do what we do. Mm.